In the 1990s, Craig Hendricks, who taught me everything I know about AutoCAD, told me that I had to program my OSNAPs as function keys. And I think he was right, because fast forward to 2023, I think doing that has uh, reduced my drafting fatigue and made me happier, more efficient, and more accurate, and made my billing rate go up, up, up. So I'm going to show you how I do that now. I've got a little text file that's an AutoCAD partial menu file, as opposed to a main menu file, that can be edited with your favorite text editor. And up at the top of it is just a bunch of comments. And then where the language starts, it says menu group equals Haas. And then it's got an accelerators section, which is hotkeys or shortcuts. At the top of that section, I put a bunch more comments that tell me all the rules for these things. And then the actual definitions. Let's see, I put that F1 is control C because I kept fat fingering uh, F1 when I was trying to cancel in AutoCAD with the escape key. And then I've got all the others defined as the respective O snaps. With uh, F2, the text screen toggle skipped. And uh, F8 for ortho skipped. And F10 for polar skipped. Now, I've seen a lot of other power drafters who have things like this that may not quite be the exact same uh, order and, and definitions, but they've also used these. And once I have this text file defined, I go into AutoCAD and I use the CUI load or menu load command, both of which are the same thing, and they both bring up the custom the load unload customizations dialog. Here you can see that I already have Haas menu group loaded, so I'm going to unload it. Then I'm going to say browse, and it'll bring up a file selector dialog. And I'm going to go to my file explorer and copy the path to this folder, paste it in here. And now I want to look for MNU files and pick the Haas.MNU. Notice nothing happened yet. I have to click Load, and there's the Haas menu group. And that's what this menu group equals Haas did, is it told us what this would be called once it was loaded into AutoCAD. And once that's done, I can draw a line from Send to End to Perp, to TAM, to INT, all with function keys, not hitting the space bar or any mouse uh, clicks or anything. And that's it, except that I want to tell you about one even crazier thing. Craig Hendricks told me that Dave Reynolds had gone one step further here. He had defined the sen, the, the, the word C-E-N, to be an alias for an AutoCAD command. I believe it was line. So sen was an alias for line. So that when he hit F3, it would start the line command. And I thought, yeah, that's confusing and, and cool, and, but it didn't seem compelling to me at the time, and I didn't do anything with that in the 90s, and I don't think Craig Hendricks did either. But in the last five or ten years, I got to thinking, there are certain commands that I use dozens, if not a hundred times a day. And I, I, I really focused on this and analyzed this and realized I use um, off-isolate, Lay ISO, kind of, my own custom version of Lay ISO, and Lay On hundreds of times a day, maybe, at least dozens. And so I said, I'm going to try this Dave Reynolds thing, and I'm going to make Sen 
be my op isolate and this endpoint be an alias for lay on. So I went into my ACAD.pgp, which I'll do here now using the CNM, the open source CNM uh, PGP edit uh, toolbar. Hit the control end key, go to the bottom of this PGP where the user defined command aliases live, and I find out that I did define endpoint as an alias for Leon. So if I go into AutoCAD and I type ENDP and space, it says all layers have been turned on because that's now an alias for all layer for for lay on. Now the way that works is this: if I say lay ISO, well I have my version of lay ISO. So if I hit F3. It tells me to select the objects on the layers to be isolated. Then if I hit F4, everything comes back on. Now that's only slightly tweaked from the best I could have done without function keys. But it's enough better that I've become addicted to it. Lay ISO, ping, lay on. Oops, I fat fingered. Lay on. I'm not even in AutoCAD anymore. Okay. Lay ISO, pick, lay on. Lay ISO, pick, lay on. All right. So that's the other crazy thing. Let me know what you think and like and subscribe if you want to.